Hello viewers, you are watching Industry Unplugged, powered by Mojo for Industry, India's first mobile journalism platform for industry. India is witnessing the arrival of a new generation of elevators, which have been equipped with innovative technologies, offering energy efficiency, cost effectiveness and smartness. A smart elevator experience makes a building more attractive prospect for tenants and visitors alike. Kone Elevator, one of the global majors in elevator and escalator industry, has pioneered the concept of smart elevators and introduced several products that are transforming how people experience elevators. Today, in this episode of Industry Unplugged, we have Mr. Amit Gosai, Managing Director of Kone Elevator India, to talk more on how the elevator industry is evolving with the advent of smart technologies. So, welcome Mr. Gosai. India is the second largest market for elevators and escalators in the world. Mr. Gosai, what's your assessment on the current market scenario? So my, my take on this is that there will be a very slow growth, of course, a growth over 2020 because 2020 was very low. But we come to about 2019 levels or, or near about a slightly lower, but it's a very uncertain world. And that's the most important thing. However, for our sector, the elevator and escalator industry, much dependent on real, on real estate, mainly on residential in India, and also on infrastructure plus the commercial. So I think the residential will do well. People want houses, that's not going to stop. Commercial office, ultimately investments will come into India. That will also have a start, maybe a little slower. And retail is something that we have to watch. I think it will be a very slow back to normal growth for retail sector which is the shopping malls, etc. Elevator and uh, escalator industry overall is likely to be, if you compare 2019, slightly lower than 2019, and then probably a growth you'll see, which could be much higher. But like the GDP is going to grow, as per the government, more than 11% in 2021 or 2020. Um, and we've got an excitement in the market. We've got few solutions for the customers. We have launched the 24-7 connected services, uh, which is a monitoring, remote monitoring service that we give for predictive or preventive maintenance, and which gives peace of mind and safety in the mind of the customer. I think because of that, we are sure that we will grow as fast as the industry, actually faster than the industry, if not as fast as the industry. But our focus is not on really growing faster, or our focus is on the customer to ensure our customers are happy. And if they are happy, they come back to us. And I think you know that you know Kone is a, a strong brand, and we want to maintain that brand. We are strong because of the services that we offer, because of the good quality of maintenance we offer to the customer. Mr. Busai, how the elevator industry is evolving with the advent of smart technologies? And even in our company, the digitalization is happening very fast. So the smart-based technology is all about digitalization and moving forward. And this 24-7 connected services I talked about, where you connect all our elevators remotely and the machine talks to machine. So we already know the problems that are going to happen before they happen. But giving a piece of mind, that's all smart technology. Then, of course, we've launched the world's first digital elevators, which is our DX range. So that's smart technology also because they're all connected. And I think today connectivity is very important. So with DX, for instance, we can have sound, music, we can have a relaxed mind. We can have a lot of beautiful aesthetics inside the car. The car is there inside of the elevator. So I think that way, smart technology is going to play, play a huge role. Uh, you know, even robots have now come into the picture. Mr. Gosai, could you explain the advantages of installing a smart elevator? There are see, many, many advantages. One, of course, is the open application programming interface, the APIs that we have, which, which create a different experience for the customers. Then we have the Kone information uh, solution and services where the information keeps going to the machine, you know, through the cloud network, it keeps the machine. So it keeps us updated absolutely uh, on that. And then, of course, the connectivity that you talked about. But in case of the DX elevators that we've launched, we also have the Kone sound and music. You can actually choose the kind of sound that you want. And that's also to do with the tech, smart technology. When you're moving up 24 floors, let's say, you can choose the theme lights that you want inside a car. So these are aesthetics, which is a very good feel-good factor. Then, of course, the health and well-being solution we've got today, 
through our mobile phone, we can bring an elevator to the floor that we want. You don't want to touch the buttons. So you can take a mobile phone, you have the code in your building, and then you bring the elevator down. You can throw your mobile code to a certain floor as well. We have uh, sanitization that happens, which is in the handrails of the escalator, because again, that's required today, sanitization is important. So UV sanitization, which happens constantly while you're on the escalator, where you have to touch the handrails. So these are some of the things that are extremely important. Built-in built -in connectivity therefore becomes very important. Mr. Amit Gosai is also the chairman of the Real Estate and Building Technology Committee and the co-chair for Smart Cities and Urban Development for Confederation of Indian Industry. So Mr. Gosai, we'd like to understand from you, how do you see the demand for smart elevators in Indian market? So, Subhajit, I think Subhajit, one of the important things is that it's going to take a little bit of time for people to get used to it. You know, digitalization, digital India, which the government is trying to promote, that's taken a little time. But in, when we start, when we start doing it and implementing, it happens very quickly. That's India. Like the bank accounts, a lot of bank accounts got opened. So, smart technology is going a little slow, but I think that's the need of the hour. Today, when you buy an elevator, what is it that you need? You need safety, you need quality, and you need a good feel-good factor inside an elevator. Safety being most important. If you have smart technology, you'll be safe. And, and the customer will realize this. So in tier one cities, or people who can afford the smart technology, they're going for smart technology straight away because it increases the cost, therefore the price a little. In tier two, tier three cities, you still have a little bit of issues. People still want a low end, low priced elevator, you know, but if you pay another 10% extra, it's, it's an elevator for life you're buying or for a long, long time. It's best to pay that 10% extra and get smart elevators. But that's just on the human psyche. Once things pick up, everybody starts following it. And you will find when we talk another two, maybe, you know, in two to three years, I think about one third of the total industry would be smart elevators, and in another one more year, it will be fifty percent. Because again, the tier two and the remote areas, rural areas, may not have the smart elevators as much. But we'll be prepared, and maybe I'm going to convert everything to smart elevators in the next five years, so that we're all high quality, safe, digitalized, and there are no issues. As far as the market share, I think the important thing is that we want our employees to be happy. We have a lot of cultural programs, other things that we do to ensure that our employees are safe, most of all. Sometimes we become a little strict with them because of the safety issues, but that's for them and for their families. And once things open up, we start our cultural activities, we start training them more, so they become and building teams more. So they are happy employees, is something that we believe in, which will give us happy customers. A happy person talking to another happy person will make the third person happier, which is our end user. So happy employees will give happy builders if they are successful because of us and will give happy end users who are using elevators. And market share will grow. So I can't put a number on the market share, but I think we will grow. Kune has recently introduced DX class of elevator. Why this range of elevators is being considered as a game changer for the industry? Yeah, so the DX class, all those digitally connected elevators in the world, which is launched, of course, by Kune, was launched in many parts of the world and then the 10th of March in India we launched it. So it is available right now. They're all connected. I told you about API services. That's there in the DX. I talked to you about the music and light, sound light theme, which is also there in, in our connected elevators. We also have the 24-7 connected services ready to go, which means if a customer wants the 24-7 connected services, the machine or elevator is already ready for it. All you have to do is just switch and connect it. So all these things are already available in the elevator. The Kone information solution and services that I talked about, that's also available. So everything is available. Whatever the customer wants to choose, he can get it. About 50 odd offices, uh, sales and service network that we have across India. So every state is very well covered. Uh, we also, through our Distribution network, we also cover Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Bhutan very well. A very strong distribution network that we have. So we are, we are, you know, one of the main things is we have to be close to the customers and we've invested in infrastructure, we've invested in parts so that we come closer to the customers and the customers don't have to wait too long. 
So we we've got that investment, and that's a real meaningful investment that we we'll continue to make every time. In 2019, you opened a manufacturing facility in in Chennai with an investment of around 450 crore. Could you tell us how is the plant performing, and is it going to be adequate to meet your future market demand? It is the largest and perhaps the technologically best plant. in south asia and southeast asia apart from china but uh, all these countries that are there so it's, it is the largest plant in south and southeast asia of elevators uh, that's an investment that we really made thinking 10 years down the line what india would look like so of course last year the demand went down but again it will pick up and you know india will not stop in terms of economic growth potential is there demands there people are young energetic they want to do something so that demand eventually is going to come back and i think we can we are prepared for the next 10 years at least for that do you have any other expansion plan in pipeline uh we also have a test tower coming up in the new factory which will which is again straight on the art test tower that will test all the elevators the high tech uh, elevators that we are manufacturing that's another thing and then of course we we'll continue to invest in training training facility So, Mr. Gosai, before concluding today's interaction, I uh, uh, would like to understand from you what are some of your long and short-term targets to achieve in the Indian market. Our uh, short-term objective is to continue to serve our customers very, very well. Whether there are some containment zones or lockdowns happening, ensure that continuity happens. Our technicians are well trained, and importantly, they are safe. Not only our technicians, but also the customers. So, we go very safely with our Full PPEs, etc. So, short-term objective is to continue to serve the customers. Long-term objective is to grow uh, with the market faster than the market. Invest in new products and services, which can make our customers successful. So, ultimately, if our customers are successful, we will be successful. So, our our aim is to ensure that we win with customers and we make our customers successful. And that is our long-term objective. Which means, if that happens, we will continue to grow faster. then we will think about the next stage of larger investment when things start picking up thank you so much mr avid gosai for being on our show today and explaining how smart elevators are becoming essential part of our lives and also revealing your long and short term targets to achieve in the indian market we expect that kone elevator india continues to scale new heights in the elevators market with that it's wrap on today's edition of industry unplugged with mr amit gosai managing director of kone elevator india viewers thanks for watching mojo for industry india's first mobile journalism platform for industry please stay tuned for more such interactions and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon goodbye